In the opening scene, we see a man who wakes up in a mysterious cube-shaped room with several hatches on each of its sides that connect to other identical rooms. In a confused state, the man opens one of the hatches and enters a red-colored room. The moment he steps in, several square-shaped spikes burst out of the walls, impaling him and taking out a cube-shaped chunk of his body. The scene then cuts to another cubic room, showing three people, Yuichi Goto, Shinji Ochi, and a young boy, Chiharu Uno. They all seem to have no memory of how they got here, nor do they have their belongings. While they are trying to comprehend the situation, another man, Hiroshi Ida, throws a shoe inside the room before entering. Shortly after, they're joined by another survivor who introduces herself as Asako Kai. As Hiroshi proceeds to open another door on the ceiling, a dead body of the first man falls from the hatch, leaving everyone startled. In a desperate bid to exit the trap, Shinji proceeds towards another room, unaware of the potential danger, but Hiroshi stops him and decides to test the room first. He throws his shoe towards it, and it is immediately burnt down by the extreme flame. He then warns the group that some of the rooms in the cube contain deadly traps that can be activated by different sensors. Following this, the group starts to pass from room to room, throwing their boots in order to check for traps. In the midst of this, Shinji asks several questions, but an annoyed Hiroshi orders him to shut up. In one room, they come across an elderly man, Kazumasa Ando, who introduces himself as a company executive. He initially believes that the group is here to rescue him, but his hope Hope shatters when they reveal that they are also trapped victims like him. The six of them continue to move from one room to another. During this, they notice a plate with three numbers in the passageway between each room, but are unable to comprehend its meaning. At one point, Yuichi is assigned to check for the trap in a room before they enter. He throws his boot and removes it very soon before concluding that it is safe. The group then makes their way inside the room without thinking twice, but as soon as the hatch closes behind them, the room's light goes off and a fan with sharp metal blades starts descending from the ceiling, proving that it is a trapped room. Sensing the urgency of the situation, they frantically attempt to unlock the other hatches, but none of them open up. As the blades slowly approach their heads, their only option is to go through the bottom door. However, Yuichi freezes on top of the door in fear, so Hiroshi pushes him aside, letting the group escape moments before the blades reach them. Although they manage to get out safely, Hiroshi vents his anger on Yuichi for his recklessness as they rest for a while. The young Chiharu, who seems to have memorized the the numbers between the rooms, he uses a shirt button to write it down on the floor. He then conducts some tough mathematical calculations and eventually figures out that all of the trapped rooms are indicated by having prime numbers. In order to test the theory, Yuichi chooses a hatch with all even numbers and jumps into the other room, risking his life. He should have maybe still thrown a boot just in case. The theory proves to be correct, as the room appears to be normal. In the aftermath, the group uses this insight to navigate through numerous other rooms. However, at one point, they come across a room where all the surrounding rooms are trapped. They recheck the numbers in hopes of finding any clue, but to no avail. Asako then suggests that they return back to the same room that they came from, but much to their dismay, the door to that room is permanently locked. Now that they are trapped in a single room, Kazumasa blames Chiharu, deeming his theory worthless. Math is still a pointless subject after all. Amidst their discussion, Hiroshi discovers that one of the room's traps reacts to sound. As a result, he urges the group to pass through it with without making any noise. They then form a queue and proceed towards it, but Shinji accidentally drops his boot on the floor, which creates a sound. As a consequence, the trap is activated, and electric laser bars appear in the room. It almost burns down Kazumasa, who is still inside the trap room. Thankfully, the group members pull him out in the nick of time, and he only sustains a minor injury on his leg. Although the old man is saved, he berates Shinji for his recklessness, and also goes on a hateful rant about young people. Goddamn tip! talking idiots. Not long after, Chiharu shifts the group's focus on a cubicle structure drawn on the wall. The picture indicates that all of these rooms are located inside a large cube and that they must find a way to an exit room. But before they can discuss their next move, the room's wall starts releasing a harmful gas, prompting them to hastily run away. This confuses the group and they wonder why the room was trapped despite the hatch not having any prime numbers. Even though they are clueless, they have no other choice but to keep moving in search of an exit. The group then proceeds to the next room, only to be confronted by a shocking revelation. They've ended up in the same room, with the first man's dead body, suggesting that they've been moving in a circular path. However, Shinji doesn't agree with the idea, and instead speculates that the rooms inside the cube are moving. Hiroshi proposes that they keep on walking, because he does not have much time left. While venturing through the rooms, Yuichi questions Hiroshi if someone is waiting for him outside the maze, to which the latter replies that it is his wife. He vows to return back to her, no matter how 
how tough the situation gets. But what if they find an alligator room? He'd probably be screwed then. At one point, the cube experiences a sudden tremor, which causes Chiharu to fall into a trapped room. Seeing this, Yuichi rushes to save the boy from the trap, which has laser beams that aim on a target and shoot through it. The two manage to dodge several laser shots, but they are unable to make their way out. As a result, Hiroshi jumps in for their rescue and helps them return to the safe room. But sadly, he is unable to save himself, and the laser beam penetrates his body, Oh, resulting in his tragic demise. And perhaps just a little bit of pleasure. Later, while the group is mourning his loss, Yuichi does some calculations. He soon discovers that the numbers on the hatch indicate Cartesian coordinates, which they can use to head towards the edge of the cube. According to his theory, if they go through four more rooms in the y-axis, they will reach the cube's edge, a potential exit. Armed with this knowledge, the group starts following Yuichi's suit. Shortly after, they stop in a room to rest, during which Kazumasa shares his belief that all of this might be his punishment for the sins he committed. He admits that he has betrayed a lot of people and that he deserves punishment for the same. Their conversation is suddenly interrupted when the metal bars shoot up from the ground, splitting the room in half. These bars also separate Kazumasa and Shinji from Yuichi, Chiharu, and Asako. Realizing that they can't be together any longer, Kazumasa and Shinji decide to find the exit on their own and bid farewell to the rest of the group members. Without the math dork, those two are as good as dead. In the aftermath of this event, Yuichi, Chiharu, and Asako continue their journey towards the edge. Along the way, they come across a room with a large screen that shows a painful memory from Yuichi's past. In the video, we see Yuichi's younger brother, Hiro, standing on the ledge of a building. He is contemplating to end it all, as he isn't able to bear his father's brutal assaults anymore. Moreover, Yuichi urges him to tolerate it instead of supporting him. Depressed by all this, Hiroto commits the unthinkable. This tragic memory leaves Yuichi devastated, and he is overwhelmed by guilt for not being able to save his little brother. After an emotional breakdown, he vows to rectify his errors by rescuing Chiharu and Asako from this trap. On the other hand, Kazumasa continues to criticize Shinji, expressing disdain for younger generations, which deeply offends him. As a result, while Kazumasa is distracted looking down a hatch, Shinji bashes his head in with the hatch door, killing him on the spot. Sorry, old man. The hatch kill challenge is trending right now. Back to the trio. Chiharu calls Yuichi a coward for not saving his brother. The young boy relates his own experiences with that of Hiroto, which makes him feel depressed as well. Due to this, he opens a hatch in the floor and proceeds to jump into the trapped room. But this time, Yuichi holds him back at the last second and saves his life, unlike what he did for his brother. In this process, we see several bruises on the boy's body, indicating that he had been abused just like Hiroto. Just then, Asako mentions that they have reached the edge of the cube. Upon looking out through a hatch, they learn that the maze of rooms is encased in a hollow shell that has an opening in its base, which is probably the exit. Furthermore, they also see a cube room acting as an elevator, which they believe will lead them to the base. Yuichi quickly calculates the coordinates to the moving cube room, after which the trio heads towards it. On their way, they meet a blood-covered Shinji. Despite being initially happy with the reunion, the group soon doubts him when he says that Kazumasa died in a trap. However, they don't confront him yet and continue on their journey to the exit room. A short while later, Shinji forces all of them into a trapped room where he finally admits that he killed Kazumasa. Sensing the imminent threat, the three of them try to escape the room, but Shinji attacks Yuichi with the intention of killing him. Yuichi inquires for the reason why he's doing this, to which the latter can confides his past grievances in him. Turns out that he used to work at a local convenience store, where he frequently got berated by the elderly store owner, as well as the customers. In other words, he was terrible at his job, and he hated when people called him out for it. This raised his hatred towards people, which intensified further when Kazumasa criticized him, eventually making him deranged. Now, he neither wants to live, nor wants to let others live. As a result, he proceeds to choke Yuichi to death. In this intense moment, Yuichi is reminded of his younger brother, and that motivates him to fight back. He then gathers all of his strength to fend off the insane Shinji, who is soon killed by the room trap. Before the trap can get to the rest of the group members, Yuichi manages to send Asako and Chiharu out of the room while sacrificing himself in the process. After this, Chiharu and Asako make it to the elevator room that leads them to the base. Chiharu walks out, while Asako insists that she will stay behind to look for more survivors. The young boy then wanders into a long passageway with a bright light up ahead. His fate 
Unknown. Hopefully the room contains burgers and a toilet. In the meantime, Yuichi falls into another room. He sustains several injuries, but is still alive. Despite the excruciating pain, he doesn't lose hope of getting out of this maze. In another surprising turn of events, Asako is revealed to be a highly advanced cyborg that has been monitoring the cube survivors as test subjects. The movie ends with Asako going to another group of survivors and saying the same programmed line she said when she met the previous group. Who? are you? They could have programmed her with a cooler line. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.